Hey everyone. Hi Aquarius. All right. Um, anyone new to Opal Oracle, welcome. So nice to have you here. Uh, and those returning, same. Now, it's so nice to be, I just thought you'd like the fire too. It's not raging. It's actually, you can tell by the color here that there's a good amount of coals and that's really where the heat comes from. It doesn't have to be this huge flame. It's about the amount of something. The amount of things compressed equals more power. I heard in a way restriction is power, but I, I, um, I also heard to take that lightly, like um, think about that in different kinds of ways. Where, where do you find restriction something, where do you see it as beneficial? Now, let me tutor this a bit, Aquarius. I heard the saying, um, ain't got a leg to stand on, right? What a bummer that would be. It's not that you have one leg, but you ain't even got a leg to stand on. And then what would you have to do if you didn't have any legs to be able to get around? Well, I guess you would use your arms more, right? And what, who rules the arms? Gemini. Do you hear those dogs? I thought they were wolves. Sorry, I just wanted to check. It was drawing my attention, you know? I should have known there was nothing to worry about because I have dogs. And they would have told me if there was a problem. It's also the year of the dog, right? And I actually almost did Cancer's reading. I, I, I heard that it was Cancer's reading before I did yours. Which you have Uranus in Cancer's house and Cancer has Uranus in your house. And... Um, The North Node is also shifting into Cancer, so there's a lot about, like, because to me, I think the reason why I felt Cancer, too, is I was like, oh, it's, 
right now I had a, you know, I worked during the day some, I did what I needed to do, you know, financially, and I did what I needed to do within the house, and um, I did what I needed to do with the dogs, and, um, and then I did something creative for myself in a variance of ways. Um, and now it's it's exactly midnight and there's a fire and it's nice and I get the sweater on and it's just cozy, right? Cancer is cozy. They like that. I think that maybe that's why cancers also like things around them, like objects and things. Well, there's variants of reasons for that too. But it's comfortable, right, when it's sort of near you, around you, com it's comforting you, it's close to you, right? So I wonder, I, I'm trying to think of all the cancers I know and the houses that they live in. I feel like all of their houses were kind of smaller or filled. Maybe that's what makes them feel comfortable. But it's a very certain kind of fill. And regardless of whether this, however cancer plays out, I also sense that it's in, in addition, it's, um, because it represents the home as your, your own self, right? Your body is your home. And I sense that a lot of you have been figuring out that your, um, your body is your home. Your body is, is sacred, right? And home is sacred and for a lot of you within the home there's been a lot of uh, situations that were not within the sacred realm right You're figuring out a cycle, you know. You're also sort of, um, Scorpio is an eight. And to me, I always see Scorpio as uh, the infinity symbol too. You know, things that come back, or all eights come back around. It just depends the way we deal with things when it comes back, or whatever it is that comes back around, right? Just a minute. Eight is also the strength card, which rules the heart, okay? In the, all your cards are upright, and actually all these cards are in the upright in this deck, but the heart of the matter ended up being this heart in the center. But the three of swords in the reverse. good you know it's about letting go giving something back that you no longer need right some sort of it's like you made a bargain with someone a very long time ago but now you in and then I heard a karmic bargain interesting And that affects the structure of your life now. For some of you, there's competition at work, but it's nothing to be concerned about. Um, if you understand what
what's worth it to you and what's not what what is of a what is of value to you and what is not um and because we just had that Taurus full moon it's it's a lot about you know what is it that you wanted to let go of that you had that had possession of you for so long or something that you possessed right what is that that you needed to let go and what is it that you would like to possess but knowing what it is that you need to let go of is the first step to be able to get to the second step of receiving the new I also think it would be cool if I do this over the winter. I can read coals. Maybe so can you. I don't know. I saw a burning heart and a two. And a smiling dog. <laughs> the dog's cute. Oh, I also see the opossum. Interesting. That's a very cool animal. Um, dog is important. We mentioned dog before, right? Year of the dog. Maybe checking into the year of the dog. It's also about who's your pack, which also goes back to, I like that this is connecting, the Cancer shifting the North Node from K2, or Rahu rather, excuse me, from Leo to Cancer. It's small. It's about the small circles, right? The but it's very inclusionary. Everyone's been sort of. It's Scorpio season, right? There's so much in Scorpio, so much happening, and so much that will shift out of Scorpio. Okay, Venus being in retrograde also is there's a lot of healing that comes through that, but it can be painful because it it shows things really in you know Scorpio is pretty raw. But it's important to be to feel it out because you actually have no cups here um, to feel it out. How, how is it that you feel about it? I just saw a canyon, <clears throat> so apparently you feel pretty deep about it. It's taken time to get to this place, right? But whether the Grand Canyon was, whether a canyon is made by water or air or what have you, it's, um, Usually the water isn't there anymore, right? When there's a canyon, the water has gone. The canyon is a, ch is a channel for, for something to get from one place, one place to another, right? To hopefully reach the sea, which is Pisces, and that's about going all the way around.
I see the burning heart again. What does that mean when Jesus has the heart here? I mean, obviously that's the heart chakra, right? It's Venus too, technically. As far as I recall, Venus would be right here for for the planet. Which makes sense with the Venus in retrograde and this heart and going over things. And <clears throat> I see it's important for you to keep your focus too, okay? It goes back to the arm message, too, because what do they say? Uh, idle hands are the devil's playground, right? So keep busy in a productive way. That'll also get you out of your head. Um, which, by the way, should be held high. Okay. Okay, okay. Love you so much. Anyone who's still here, thanks for being here. It's so awesome. Um, I'm so grateful for everyone who expresses themselves as an independent person, you know, as their own individual and all their appreciate all your appreciation and enlightening conversation and comments and sweetness so much sweetness and so much support i really appreciate it you know this wouldn't exist if it wasn't for you so thanks yeah totally <laughs> love you peace